This week's tech news has been jam-packed with info from the IFA 2014 tech extravaganza that kicked off this week in Berlin. And it's been an absolutely amazing show for gadget lovers. We've seen everything from high-end smartphones, phablets and tablets, and a new crop of Android Wear smartwatches too. There's a lot to catch up on. And first up, we knew the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 was coming, and now Samsung has unveiled it in all of its glory at IFA. And it looks like an absolute cracker. It packs in an LG G3 rivaling Quad HD 2560x1440 display, and an intelligent 16 megapixel snapper, along with an updated S Pen 2. With a 2.7 GHz Snapdragon 805 processor and 3 GB of RAM under the hood, it could be the best phablet yet. But that wasn't the only phablet that Samsung unleashed at IFA, as the innovative Galaxy Note Edge also made its exciting debut. The Note Edge has to be one of the strangest devices we've seen this year, as its screen stretches over the edge of the device and curves down the side. And this looks to be one of the true Note flagships that Samsung has managed to keep under wraps. And Sony also made a slew of announcements at IFA, but its new range-topping Xperia Z3 has caught our eye. It's a refinement of the Xperia Z2 that launched earlier this year, and you can look forward to a tough-as-nails aluminium chassis, improved waterproof skills, and a 5.2-inch 1080p screen. Not forgetting Sony's top-notch 20.7-megapixel snapper, and it even comes with PlayStation 4 streaming capabilities as well. But if you want something a little smaller, Sony's new Xperia Z3 Compact could well fit the bill, with the 4.6-inch handset offering plenty of the same flagship features as its bigger brother, all in a more compact package. It boasts a speedy 2.5GHz Snapdragon 801 processor, 4G LTE, and a similar waterproof design, making the Xperia Z3 Compact a compelling choice for smaller hands. And if it's anything like the Z1 Compact, we can't wait to get our hands on one. Not to be left out though, HTC also announced a phablet as well, in the form of the HTC Desire 820. HTC's mid-range blower gets a 5.5-inch HD screen, and it could be a great choice for photography buffs. There's a 13-megapixel sensor on the rear of the handset complete with a fast f2.2 lens, but it's the 8-megapixel front-facing snapper that will really appeal to lots of people, proving ideal for selfies. And Microsoft also revealed two brand new Lumia phones, with the first being the Nokia Lumia 830, which the Redmond Giants are dubbing the first most affordable flagship phone to date. And it also packs the thinnest and lightest design that we've seen from a Lumia phone, and that's all down to its new camera hardware. Inside the 8.3mm thin chassis, which is bordered by a metal frame, you'll find a 10 megapixel pure view snapper that boasts Zeiss Optics low light capabilities. It's also powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 processor, which should give it plenty of grunt for flying through your apps and games. The 830 wasn't the only handset on show from Microsoft, as they also revealed its selfie-focused 4G-capable Lumia 735 and 730 dual SIM. It's built pretty much for Skype and selfies, all thanks to its wide-angle, front-facing 5-megapixel camera, and a dedicated Nokia selfie app to go along with its camera powers too. Just like the 830, the 735 and 730 both pack in a Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 processor, which is joined by 8GB of internal storage and a 4.7-inch 720p display. And IFA has also thrown up some interesting choices when it comes to tablets, with the Xperia Z3 Tablet Compact going head-to-head -head with Google's Nexus 7 and the Apple iPad Mini. The 8-inch tablet really lives up to the compact name, cramming a 2.5GHz quad-core processor and more into a seriously skinny 6.4mm casing, while its screen looks tip-top and perfect for streaming PS4 games. But 2014 seems to be the year of the smartwatch, and we've seen some brilliant devices launched at EFA so far. The Asus ZenWatch has to be the top of the list, with a stunning design that really could help it take on the Moto 360 and the Samsung Gear S. The curved edges and a leather strap help it to give it a softer appearance than the likes of the LG G Watch, yet you still find the same Android Wear platform at the heart of the Zen Watch. And the Sony Smartwatch 3 is another Android-powered wearable, cramming in a 1.6-inch 320x320 screen and stainless steel casing. As with Sony's high-end smartphones, the Smartwatch 3 is waterproof and is available with a choice of pink, white, black and lime straps. But this wasn't the only wearable announced by Sony. 
With the smart band Torque following hot on its heels, Sony's latest wristband gets a 1.4 inch e-ink screen, offering up always on updates for your physical exertions, and voice control also makes it easy to get the best out of your device when you're on a run. But moving on from watches, we first heard of Samsung's Gear VR some time ago, but the South Korean giant has finally announced its virtual reality headset officially, along with news that it's been developed with a helping hand from Facebook-owned Oculus VR. The Gear VR works with the Galaxy Note 4, using the phablet screen as its own VR display, which should help to keep costs down and let you roam around wire-free. And finally, vacuum giant Dyson has got into robotic hoover action with its 360i robot, which promises to be the only cleaning robot you'll ever need. It's been in the works for some time now at Dyson Labs, and that's down to its unique 360-degree vision system that lets the robot see all around the room to locate where it needs to clean. Its tank tracks mean that it can conquer almost all terrain that's in your house, and there's infrared sensors built in to work with the camera to really make sure your home is sparkling clean. If you want to get your hands on one, you'll have to wait a little bit though. It's set to go on sale in Japan next spring, while the rest of the world will follow later in the year.